Cryptograns here, welcome back to another C Sharp Crash Course video, this is episode 4, and today we're going to be introducing ourselves to variables. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on those notifications. If you want to support me, check the Patreon, it's in the description, check out my other videos in the top right corner, and comment all of your feedback, compliments, and suggestions in the comments below. Anyways, let's hop into it. So in this video, we're going to be introducing all the variable types. Okay, so I have set up our variable class here, and basically how this works is we have a, a variables class with all the different types of variables, this one being just an example since district is a thing in here in our namespace, state namespace, and we have a public static void main method, and when we hit play, Basically, it's going to tell us the max value between all of them, okay? So let's explain all of them. So first, let's start with variable formatting. So first, we have the access modifier, which I'll have a video on that, um, the variable type, and the variable name, okay? So the variable name must be different for all variables, okay? Now, each class can also have the same um, name. So you see how I have as byte, right? So if we make another variable, let's say an int, and it will be called as byte. It's going to give us an error. Um, oops, this is lowercase, because this already exists, right? However, if we make another class and put it in here, then we can use this um, s byte variable in another class, like this, all right? Okay, so let's delete that, and let's explain all of them. So first, the numeric variables. So we have um, assigned and unsigned variables. Okay, so what's an uh, um, here? Wait, these are not assigned. Okay, so what's the difference between a signed and an unsigned variable? Well, basically, a signed variable um, gives us an extra byte. It sacrifices one of its bytes or one of its bits to allow it to be negative. Okay, because basically one of these bytes or bits, sorry, determines if it's positive or negative. So if it's zero, it's positive. If it's, I think it's zero, it's positive. And if it's negative, it's one. It's one or the other, but it doesn't really matter what it is. Just know that one of the bits for these variables are, are used for determining if it's positive or negative. Now, unsigned basically is, so these are always positive, right? Because we don't have that bit to determine if it's positive or negative. Instead, it get, allows us to store extra, okay? Basically twice the amounts because we have that extra bit. So these are really good if you know for a fact these are always gonna be positive, right? So if these are gonna be negative, then you wanna use short assigned variable, okay? And you'll see this here. You'll see it in here. You'll see how um, the signed variables here are gonna be much bigger than the unsigned, okay? No, sorry, it's other other way around. These ones are going to be smaller, and these ones are going to be bigger. Okay, so now these ones here are called floating point variables. So what is a floating point variable? Basically, all of these decimals can have decimals, or these variables can have decimals in them. Okay, so float is the smallest out of all of them. No, actually, no, decimal is the smallest out of all of them. Float is the second, and double is the biggest. However, decimal is the most precise, so basically it has more decimals of precision compared to these two. And float has more decimals of precision compared to double. So if you're looking for very massive numbers, like an idle game, or just huge numbers in general, uh, you should use a double. Floats are, um, yeah, so decimals are good for exact, exact measurements. And floats are, and floats is called a floating point number, okay? So that's the floating point variables. And we have our Boolean variable, which is just a bool. So it's either true or false. It's just a one bit variable. And we have a string variable. Um, these are treated more as of an object, but you can set strings to whatever, as long as you do it properly. So you can set it as like, hello, uh, CG here, was here something like this. This is called a string, a string of characters, okay? We also have another one, and I forgot to add. It's called a char. 
So basically, this is a single character variable. All string is a is a it, it contains however many chars you want. Okay, so you set it like this. So this is not going to work. Okay, now char uses a very specific. Um, it uses these instead. Okay. So this is a char and this is a string. So string is um, a combined, a combination of a bunch of chars, okay? And district, as I explained before, is our object that we made in namespace blueprints, okay? So it, all of these have the same variable formatting rules, okay? And there's also additional formatting that you can do or additional access modifiers like public read only, S byte, something like this, okay, or public const S byte, where this is a constant, something like this, but we don't need to worry about that now. Anyways, let's run this and see what all the max uh, values are. Also, let's do min after this. Okay, so here's all of our maxes. So our S byte is a, has a maximum of 127. Our short has a maximum of three two seven six seven here's our long and here's our integer max okay so you can see that long is the biggest out of all of them and um, for now let's move over here you could see that basically these are pretty much twice as big almost okay but not exactly so here's all the maximums for the unsigned variables these are their signed and here's the floating points. So you can see that doubles very massive and decimals the smallest out of all of them. But yeah, so here's what we have. Okay, so let's talk about variables here. So signed variables and unsigned variables, they have the same amount of bits. Not all of them, but like S byte and byte, they have the same. Short and U short, they have the same amount of bits, right? Except they use one of them differently okay as i explained earlier so s byte and byte have eight bits short and u short have 16 bits u long and u long have 64 and int and u int have 32 bits okay so for float okay so for float float is a 32 bit floating point number okay now double is a 64 bit and decimal is a 128 bit. All right. And boolean is one bit because it's just true or false. String and char. I don't think we can. I don't think they really have a a, a like a bit size. Um, I'm not sure about that. And district we obviously can't tell because it's an object. It's the same thing with the string, right? It's an object. Okay. So, anyways, let's show what our minimums is. What our minimums are. So as I'm doing this, I am determining the max value by doing its variable type dot max value, okay? And you can do the same thing for a minimum value. And now let's see what the difference is. You see here, these are negatives, right? And now byte, these are all zero because again, these can only be positive numbers, okay? Unlike our unsigned variables here. No, our, our signed variables here. And same thing for our floating point variables, they can be negative as well. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on those notifications so you get notified for future live streams and videos. Comment whatever you like below, I will be sure to read and reply and make sure to heart them all. And if you want to support me, check out the Patreon link in the description. And check out my other videos in the top right corner. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Peace.